Hi Aquarius, welcome to November 2017 tarot reading. This is Raina here. This is a general reading and if you're looking for a love reading, I've already posted Aquarius's reading for November and I also am doing separate astrology readings for each month. And that's been kind of fun. I used to combine them and I find that when you can just stick to one thing, it makes it a lot better overall. It flows better and it just, I think it just is more effective that way. Although I do inject astrology into this type of reading. Now, if you want a personal reading, most of mine are astrology based. I do have pure tarot readings as well, but I sometimes combine um, astrology and the tarot also. So just uh, go to rainandmoonastrology.com. The link is below. And uh, yeah, so as I was saying, before I got so rudely interrupted, I had to start this over again. Um, I was talking about the theme for you in November, which is the Fool card. This could be starting over in some way. Now, it may not be that your life is just totally... Um, starting from the ground floor up, but a significant new journey, perhaps. And I love this card. This is actually connected to your ruling planet Uranus, which surprised me because I always connect this with Aries and that first house of the self and that pioneering spirit. But actually, it is connected to Uranus, and it's about nonconformity as well. So some people may be breaking out of something that has um, kept them down for a long time. This could be a job that you took because you felt you had to, but now you've just decided to go your own way, or a relationship with a similar mentality. But... The zero, represented by the full card, is the unknown quantity. So it's like anything is possible. And that's what I, I guess I love so much about this card. It's the journey, not the destination. For some people, if you're at a certain stage of life, you may be retiring and you simply don't know what you're going to do. And you don't care because you are so enthralled by your freedom. You feel like the sense of lightness, the sense of wanting to do everything your own way, and it feels really good. In the past position, we have the Knight of Swords. This can represent a facet of you where you became more able to speak your mind and to stand in your truth. It can also represent a person um, that has been in your life and this person may be a, a swords like you, air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, but this is also fire because of the knights. So their sun sign could be Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, so a combination of air and fire. But this person um, may be a perfectly fine person, but just not for you. Uh, the Knight of Swords can be a lawyer, so that might have been kind of the catalyst for you getting out of a an unhappy marriage. Actually, in August, you had a lunar eclipse in your sign, and so this that might have been the catalyst for a bunch of changes to, to take place. The, the lunar eclipses are things leaving, so whether you did the leaving or somebody else did, you feel a sense of liberation and a sense of being true to yourself. And this could also apply to any job situation that was less than satisfactory. So right now we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is kind of a quiet card and it speaks to waiting and seeing what happens. And um, if you, for instance, decided to go your own way career-wise, you may have launched your own thing and you're still waiting to see if it's going to bear fruit. This is the farmer's card. The farmer has planted the seeds and now is waiting for the crops to arrive. And based on the depiction here, 
the there are some signs that it is a worthy enterprise. There's some leaves that are blooming. I don't know, can leaves bloom, uh, grow, and that shows fertility. But you may still feel like you're not sure. So you're you're just kind of it's a wait and see approach. But again, with the full card, you may be planning some kind of a trip that you plan to take. Maybe you're planning just in terms of airfare and you're like, I'm just going to go for three months and I'm, I'm not even going to talk to people. I'm just going to do my own thing. It's going to be like a pilgrimage or a, just some kind of a, a journey that, or some kind of a journey that is based upon you ending one cycle in your life and starting another. The higher message is the Ten of Wands, and this is the card of working very hard, having maybe career success, but at the expense of free time and your energy levels may be low. This is a, a, the spiritual message, so you may have fallen into a trap the success trap in the past, Aquarius. Aquarius is always seen as like this hippie energy, you know. But Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and Saturn. And Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn, which is the sign adjacent to you, the Earth sign adjacent to you. And it's very possible with um, signs in close proximity that you might have an inner planet in Capricorn. Or your, your, your moon sign or your rising sign can be any, any sign. So um, that can, especially like if you have the moon in Capricorn, what can happen is against your better judgment that you allow yourself to get driven by success for emotional reasons. And um, there can even be family pressure in some cases starting when you're very young to, to achieve. And you go along with that almost like unconsciously, like a zombie. And then eventually some kind of life situation comes up that forces people to reevaluate their the thing that they spend most of their time doing. And for some people, it's a health crisis. And they can't help but be passive because they can't work for the time being. They are in the hospital or they are sick at home and whatever, uh, recovering from an operation, what have you. Um, so for some people, it's the breakup of a marriage that forces them to think about things. And no longer can they pretend that everything is okay. But whatever is going on, um, you... It, the, the wonderful thing is when you can learn how to live in a more authentic way. And I think that's what's happening for you. But the, but the uh, Ten of Wands is also about looking at if you take on more than your share. Whether it's trying to be a working parent and being a good, you know, employer, employee and a good parent. Whether it's taking care of your parents and, it's, and, and working. Um, there are so many possibilities. If you're in a relationship where you are doing a lot of the heavy lifting in the relationship, that's another example of how people spread themselves too thin and how they take on responsibilities that are not their own. If you're in a relationship with somebody and you're always calling them and you're always saying, hey, what about if we do this? What about if we do that? And the other person is content to not do those things, then what does that tell you? It's like a one-sided relationship. And eventually it catches up to you because you aren't getting that sense of that, of that other person being into it as much as you are. And that can feel very frustrating. What crosses you is the Ace of Cups. There may be somebody waiting in the wings. I actually got a card for the outcome that suggests that some of you may have heard from an old high school sweetheart, maybe a grammar school uh, 
relationship at that time it might have been a friend of your brother or sister or something like that and maybe it was never romantic but they they got they touch base with you after many years and now you realize that this person is much more who you are looking for than the person that you're with um but it can't right now see it's in the challenge position so it's kind of on hold because of extenuating circumstances, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. The advice is the three of swords. Sometimes this can also be the what's coming in the near future, and it can mean that there are three parties involved in a love affair. Um, but as advice... This could mean that you are being asked to cut something off totally and not look back. So any kind of love relationship, um, marriage that is really toxic, instead of separating and then be, you know staying legally married for another two years and then getting back together and then splitting up again, if you know in your heart of hearts that something is over with, it's better to make a clean break. It also can be a card that represents that uh, this sorts person is really not good for you. The outcome is the three of swords. <laughs> the three of swords. Try again the Six of Cups, and this is a card of what I was talking about. This could be the Soulmate card. I mean, this is the Soulmate card, but it, it has other possible interpretations. So getting connected with this person who you may have a connection with through, from childhood, because uh, this is the card of childhood as well, but you see how they're depicting it in a kind of romantic way. It's a very idealistic, sentimental kind of an influence. And even for career matters, this could be you going back to something that you were into when you were a child. And an example would be somebody who was the best artist in the class. And they always loved to draw and then they got sidetracked into other things. And now that's what they want to do. And that's really important to them. Whether it's a career, who knows? But at least it's something that you want to pursue again. And maybe you haven't had the time. Maybe you've been so overburdened with your work that you have put different things to the side. And sometimes when people are working long hours, that can wreak havoc on relationships. But also it can kind of um, buffer a bad relationship because you don't have to deal with that person all the time so you can get away with um, just getting into this habit of going to work and avoiding you know this avoidance of that person that is you know your significant other so it's really better that you are involved with uh, something positive in your life so if there's somebody who you are married to and you just know that it's not going anywhere um, you may decide that there's only so many years left and you want to experience this kind of level of happiness and um, and it can be yours you know don't get hung up on the time frame because if you're watching this particularly in October this could be something coming up all these cards could be the future for you and of course it is general but for those that it happens to, you may feel this sense of relief because you're getting out of a toxic relationship, whether it's a work relationship or a relationship, um, a romantic one. Okay, Aquarius. Well, I wish you all the best in November. Take care. Bye.